Hey y'all, what's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. It's Alexis, aka Lexicure, whatever you want to call it. So for today's video, I'm just doing a simple um do my makeup with me video. My kids are asleep, so I'm trying not to be so loud and ghetto. <laughs> I want them to stay asleep. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here and do my makeup with y'all. I actually have a lot to do today. I got to go grocery shopping. I got to go pick out some clothes because I'll be out of town tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I just figured I'd do my makeup. So, as y'all can see, my eyebrows are already done. So, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into my primer. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Before foundation, I'm taking my Pat McGrath, um, my Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. Y'all know how much I love this. This is in the shade medium 19. I actually wasn't going to wear this today. I'm going to be totally honest. Like I picked up my uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation to wear for this video because I wore this foundation yesterday and I love the way my, my makeup came out. I was like, dang, why haven't I picked this up in forever? But I actually was gonna wear this, but what I'll do is, if y'all wanna see me do a full drugstore um, tutorial, y'all let me know, and I got a ton of drugstore products, so if y'all interested in seeing that video, go ahead, let me know, and I'll do it. I'm just gonna squirt two pumps on the back of my hand. I actually wasn't going to wear this foundation today because I wanted something a little more full coverage because right now my skin is going through a phase where it's like, it keeps like doing something weird on the top of my lip. Like, I don't know what it is, but like every other day I get a pimple like right here in this spot and I don't even want to point in it because y'all know how that go but I get like a new pimple on the top of my lip and I don't know if it's something that I'm doing with my skincare like I really don't know lately I've been using the um I've been using the oh thought I missed my dress up but I'm changing it anyway so it don't matter but lately I've been um using the um, Fancy Beauty skincare, and I've been using that for like two months now, and I don't know, it don't usually give me problems, but for some reason, like my top lip just keep, you know, doing something weird. I don't understand what's going on. So I'm trying to just get that under control. That's why I'm like, that's why I said I really wanted to wear a um, full coverage foundation today because, because my skin hasn't been on its best behavior lately, I should say. I just didn't want to like wear something that was going to make it, that wasn't, you know, going to cover everything up. So yeah, like, ouch, just poke my freaking eye. Oh, it sound like my kids woke up. Oh, I hope not. I just want to get through this video. That's good. So I'm not even finna sit here and stress about it. Like, it is what it is. But for the most part, it covered up you know, some goodness. For concealer, I'm going in with my, I'm gonna switch it up today. I'm going in with my um, CoverGirl Concealer. This is in the shade Soft Tan. I love this because it has like that perfect like yellow undertone to it. I absolutely love it. So like I was saying, um, and I'm just gonna focus that concealer like right underneath my eye. I really don't want it to like drag down to this area. I kinda wanna just keep it right where it is. You know what I'm saying? 
I love this concealer. Like, this is a good drugstore concealer. Like, if you're looking for something that's kind of like medium full coverage, this is definitely a good concealer to reach for. Like, look at what it just did for my eyes. Looks so good. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm supposed to be going out of town tomorrow. So, um, taking the kids, oh, I got hair on my face. So, yeah, we supposed to be taking the kids to, um, to the water park. It's supposed to be, like, a group of us. It's, uh, my mama, um, my sister, uh, who else? Yeah, my sister, my auntie, my cousin, and her kid, and her son, and her boyfriend. It's gonna be like a big group of us, and we got like this nice Airbnb that we're gonna be staying in. And yeah, it's supposed to be like a whole lot of fun. So I'm excited about that. Like, I just be ready to go do stuff, like, <laughs> go explore and anything for the kids, you know? Cause it's like, now this found that this concealer, like, it don't say that it's matte. So I don't understand why it always like dry down real bad right here in my forehead area. Like, I don't like that. That's the only thing I don't like about this concealer, like, it always like cling to some patches in this area on my face. I don't know what that is because I do not have like, I do not have dry skin, combination skin. So it's like, I don't understand why I do that. Ugh. It's doing it on the nose too. I feel like it's good for under eye, but like, I completely forgot that this concealer always cleaned like that. I don't know what it is with this. It always do that. And then it like take the product off my nose. I hate that. I don't like that. I'm finna go in with just a little more. And I'm not gonna let it dry down. I'm just gonna blend it out because um I don't know what's up with that. Like that was not cute just here. I was not feeling that. I guess that's okay. I'm just gonna go in and blend out the edges with this little brush that I use for my foundation because I don't really want it to leave that line of demarcation. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want to leave that line of demarcation because lately I haven't been cream contouring. I just been, um, you know, bronzing so i just want to make sure everything looks seamless but yeah anyway like i was saying um we're supposed to be going out of town tomorrow to the water park and i'm kind of excited i actually was gonna like i was gonna plait my hair like do some um some on knotless plaits but then i was like uh, do i want to do knotless plaits and then get there then my hair get wet and then my real then my frizzies popping through my plaits and i'm gonna be mad because then i gotta come home and and do it again and yeah, that would have been a mess so i was like i ain't gonna worry about it i'm gonna just stick to i'm gonna just stick to you know my red hair so that way if it do get wet we good you know what i'm saying so for um setting powder i'm going in with my beauty bakery bakery <laughs> I'm going in with Beauty Bakery in the shade Oat, aka Translucent, and just sit right underneath my eye. I love this setting powder. Like, if you have not tried it, give it a try because this is a really good powder. Like, 
I was hesitant about getting it. I'm not even going to lie. Like, it took me forever to even buy any of Beauty Bakery products. I don't know why. But, um, it's like I've never really picked up a Beauty Bakery product. And then recently, you know, when I went into Ulta, I was like, I want to try a new setting powder because I really, you know, had been using the same setting powders over and over. So I'm like, I want to try a new one. So then when I got to the front, to the front to check out, the girl was like, that's a really good setting powder. I was like, okay, cool. So we good. So I got this and I've been loving it ever since. Like, it really is a good setting powder. I mostly like it for like under my eye because it brightens the under eye. If you know what I mean? Like, it's just, y'all see when I dust it off, but like at first, I'm not even gonna lie. Like when I first used it, when I first used this product, I don't know, hold on, pause. Is it just me or like, do I, am I the only one who like keep all my stuff in this package? I can like get, I still got shoes that I bought like years ago. I still got shoes that I bought years ago, heels, tennis shoes, everything. And I will not, <laughs> I will not take them out the box. Like I just think it's so much more organized. It looks so much more organized when you keep stuff in this package. <laughs> I don't know. I might just, it might just be me, but I love to keep all my stuff in this package. So I still, I know I'm not the only one with my Pat McGrath box. Like I still like, girl, we not getting rid of this. Period. Dang, I forgot what I was talking about. But um, I'm going to go in and just kind of clean up where I don't want some of that powder because, you know, I don't want all that down there. So we're going to let this sit for a little while. And then in the meantime, we're going to go. With, oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> but before I forget, we're going to go in with the Black Radiance um, True Complexion Contour Palette. And I have it in the light to medium. And I'm just going to take my big brush. And I'm using this. I'm using this middle shade that says Sculpt is so perfect. Look at what this did for my face. Look at this side compared to this side. Period. <laughs> I was trying to take a thumbnail. <laughs> my bad. I love this. I absolutely love it. Like, at first I didn't like it. I thought the undertone was wrong. But, like, the more I use it, I'm like, it make me feel like this is the sh the color that, like, Beyonce and them be using. Because y'all know, I got Beyonce and, like, Megan Good and them on Instagram. And, I don't know, like, not to compare myself, but, like, you, it's like you hardly ever see, like, harsh contour or, like, anything on them. It's like their makeup always looks supernatural. I don't know what it is, but, like, it seems like the celebrities got the secret recipe on how to get natural looking makeup and you know i get it like they can afford like some of the best professional makeup artists but it's like i need to know the secret i need to i need to know how your how your bronzer and everything just looks so perfect every time you take a picture but yeah like i was saying um when i first used that setting powder I thought that it was breaking me out because the very first time I used it, I had got like, I don't even want to point, but 
I developed like two like blister looking bumps under my eyes and it was so weird to me because I'm like I legit like hardly has have ever seen anything like that on my face and it wasn't terrible you know it was just like weird that right after I used that setting powder it was like one popped up right here like right underneath my eye the crease and then another one was right here and I'm like that never happened until I use that setting powder so I don't know if it's something that's in it that may be like I don't know caused it to break me out or if it's just too dry I don't know what the situation was but y'all my face had broke out so freaking bad and I was like uh-uh mm -mm, not gonna do this so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and keep it moving uh because I know these kids they probably gonna try to wake up <laughs> they probably about to try to wake up in a little bit but um For blush, I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio Blush. Y'all already know. And I'm taking this like light pink shade. Mm -mm. It's a lot of product coming off that. I want to kind of keep this light because I feel like I always like OD on, um, on blush. I honestly like don't want too much. That's fine. I legit like kind of OD'd on this side. So I'm going to kind of <laughs> brush some off. I really want it to look just kind of borderline natural. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so um, while I continue to bake, I'm going to go ahead, go off camera, apply my eyelashes, and then I'll be back. I'll probably do the lippy on camera, but then again, you know, I might not, but... I'll be back once the lashes are applied. Y'all, so our lashes are applied. I believe these. Okay, y'all, so I just want to pop in and say that little black stuff that you see on top of my eyelid is my eyelash glue. I forgot to let it dry down, girl, and it got stuck on my eyelid. So don't come for me, okay? <laughs> our ColourPop BFF3 it's completely gone so at this point i gotta go buy another lip liner so i'm about to have to finesse this i'm using this la colors it's actually an eyebrow pencil but i'm gonna use it as a lip pencil i think it's like dark brown it is for eyebrows like i said i use it for eyebrows a few times but it's not dark enough for my eyebrows so i'm gonna use it as a lip pencil so that's kind of it look a little too dark, but we're going to keep it moving. For lips, I'm going to go one with my Fenty Beauty lip gloss. Why is this still like sticking together? I'm going to apply that. This is in Fussy. And then I'm going to go on top with my, um, with my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. I don't know what's up with Fortune Cookie, but like, like every time I apply it, my lips start tingling, like they start burning. And I used to use this, um, I used to use this gloss all the time. I used to get Fortune Cookie, and it was another one that I used to use all the time. Yeah, I used to use this one, Fortune Cookie, and it was another one, um, that I used to use. But why does it feel like the formula or something is different it, it tingle it make my lips tingle now so i never even use this but i'm gonna use it today okay i love this this is hella cute so <laughs> so yeah y'all that completes this video uh, I hate the fact that it's raining outside, y'all. If my, I'm sorry if my mood just seemed kind of like mellow, cause y'all know I'm usually like all out there. <laughs> but like, my mood is just kind of like mellow today because it's raining outside. Like it's it's been horrible weather all week, <sighs> and it drains my energy. Like the the rain really does affect my mood like i'm one of those people that get like real just down and don't want to do nothing when it's ugly outside so i kind of don't even want to handle my business no more i don't even want to run errands because 
I feel like I'm cute and my makeup just gonna get ruined. Like, <laughs> I don't want my makeup to get messed up. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, um, hopefully it brighten up out there because I look too good to let this go to waste. You feel me? <laughs> But anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'll make sure I drop all the products that I use below in the description box. Mm. So yeah, I'll make sure I link all the products down below in the description box. And before y'all leave, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Stay posted for new videos that's coming within this next week because they coming, they coming, they coming. All right, they coming. Quick. <laughs> So y'all stay tuned for that. And last but not least, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.